what's up guys badger here and we're gonna talk about Halloween face paints man a lot of you guys keep asking me questions about can you do this should I do this well I'm gonna only I'm only gonna do this alright so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna answer these questions man so we're gonna start off by saying this for the people that are only gonna click on this video for a couple of seconds to find out are the face paints in the game no Halloween face paints are not in game right now it's October the 11th Rockstar will never release Halloween face paint that early so you can expect Halloween face paints to be released either on the 29th of October which is a Thursday or a Saturday which is the 31st of October the day of Halloween so those that's for the guys that are gonna click on this and want to know the release dates that's for you right there alright so let's get into it so the question that people tend to ask me a lot relating towards the Halloween face paints is should I buy all of the Halloween face paints or should I only buy the ones that I like? I'm gonna say this to that, to answer that question, both of those. If you have the money to buy all of them, then buy all of them. But if you only, only have a little bit of money, then buy the ones that you like, you know, so you don't go broke. But you definitely should be grinding out a lot of double money in RP or doing some form of money glitch, but be careful with that, because I wouldn't even do a money glitch since a lot of you guys got caught up into the apartment band wave that was pretty bad so grind double money in RP jobs and rack your money up to get the Halloween face paints now why should you buy all the Halloween face paints because these items are the most rarest exclusive items in a game that people want you should definitely buy every last one because if you don't you're gonna be waiting another 10 to 11 months all the way into next year waiting on Halloween face paints <laughs> and I don't think you guys want that so I'm doing my best to keep you guys informed when it comes to purchasing and, and when to expect the Halloween face paints in game alright now another question that I get asked is can you buy Halloween face paints if you're in bad sport yes you can buy Halloween face paints if you're in bad sport so don't worry you guys won't miss out if you're in bad sport the only thing that you won't be able to do is have fun with your friends but you know most of you guys have friends in bad sports so you'll be able to be ratchet and try hardest all you want in bad sport with your cool looking sweaty face paint now another question that people keep asking me is how much will all the Halloween face paints be hmm you're gonna need anywhere between 200 to 300k I'm just I'm just saying that like that's a number but I think that's the legit number that you're gonna need between 200 to 300k to purchase all the Halloween face paints I believe they're gonna be anywhere from 20k to 28k to 30k you're gonna pay like the first buyer fee you get what I'm saying that's that first time fee where you're gonna spend a lot and then it's gonna be cheaper after that just to let you guys know and another question that I get asked is can I buy Halloween face paint after Halloween a lot of you guys be watching this video all the way next year in, in let's say in, in February and you be like oh you clickbaited me you said I can buy Halloween face paints after Halloween no 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 I did not clickbait you now to phrase that in a way so you can understand is that can you buy Halloween face paints after the day of Halloween yes you can yes you can so that means you got all the way from the day of Halloween all the way until the second week of November which Rockstar would tend to remove Halloween items either on the 13th or the 14th of November just to let you know now people were saying so you know if let's say if you don't get online get on GTA on the 13th of October well not the 13th the 31st of October I'm sorry about that <laughs> if you don't get on GTA online on the 31st of October then you got all the way from the 1st of November to the 13th of November to purchase Halloween face paints so make sure you guys get on all your sweaty accounts your incognito accounts your undercover accounts you know all that stuff and buy Halloween face paints now um, some questions that a few people ask me is that can you buy Halloween face paint if you're banned it depends on when you were banned and how long you have so if you're if, if you're in that time span from you know Halloween day into the 13th and you're banned for two weeks then chances are you're not gonna be able to buy the Halloween face paints you're not so if, if that happens to you then just get on another account a low level and buy the Halloween face paints just try to get some money and buy some paints within that time span um another question that I get asked a lot when it comes to being a low level people keep asking me do you need to be a high rank 
to buy Halloween face paints. No, there's no rank requirement when buying Halloween face paints. There's no rank requirement at all. You can buy Halloween face paints at any level you are in this game. You can be straight off the plane, brand new coming to Los Santos, and buying a Halloween face paint if you have the money to buy it. So make sure you stack your funds up. Um, the Halloween vehicles, let's talk about that. So let me get out of this chair really quickly. We gotta go to Southern San Andreas. Let's do that. Let's go to Southern San Andreas really quickly. So we're gonna open up the web. So let's pull out the cell phone, you know, the iPhone 12 that's dropping soon for GTA. We're gonna pull it out. Now let's see, Southern San Andreas. We're gonna scroll down. A lot of people always asking me about the Halloween skull bike. That's not Halloween related, guys. It's not. You can buy this bike anytime you want in the game. It's part of the bikers DLC. This came with bikers, so you know, if you're trying to buy all the exclusive Halloween items, including this particular bike, man, you're gonna need about roughly around like three mil. I'm just gonna just throw that out there, you know, three to four mil. Just saying that if you want to, like, you know, lavish yourself on everything in this game. So let's get to the Halloween vehicles. These are the only two Halloween vehicles in the game: the Albany Lurcher, which is here, and the Albany Frankenstein. So, as you guys can see, they're pretty expensive. Not too expensive like that bike, but, you know, pretty somewhat expensive. Alright, so let's click on it. So, you have different, let's see, skins that you can choose from when it comes to purchasing, purchasing the Albany Frankenstein. So, let's see, Midnight, Hells, and then Blazing, as you guys can see. You have the option to choose those between what you want to do when it comes to that. So, make sure you guys choose wisely. But buy these items because they're rare and they only come seasonal. And the reason I own them now is because I bought them a couple of years ago, so I can always buy them whenever I choose to. You get what I'm saying? So let's scroll down here to the Albany Lurcher. We're gonna look at that piece of graveyard vehicle that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be riding around with. It'll probably do the freaking um, car glitch to put some Benny's rims on it. That'd be pretty cool to see, right? All right, so this is the Albany Lurcher here. There's only two skins that come in here, the Ripper and the Hangman. So those are your only options right there between these two skins here for this particular car. All right, so you do have like a little uh, zombie Frankenstein guy in the back of the car just reaching. He does nothing special, by the way. <laughs> nothing special at all. It's not like he's going to pull out an RPG and shoot somebody if they're following you or attack somebody and eat their brains. Just to let you know, that's not going to happen. All right, so let's get back into the chair because I know the real reason you guys are here is to see Halloween you know face paints. So let's look at these bad boys yet again. All right, so let's scroll down here. Now, something that I also get asked a lot, man, is do I always have to pay to switch my face paint and what I mean by switching to real quick months later or do I always have to come in the barbershop and pay the lady to put on a brand new face paint yes yes you will always have to pay her a fee to change your Halloween face paint I'm gonna show you we're gonna take off wicked and we're gonna put on let's see Nasher let's put that on hmm, there it is, I think. all right so we're equipping a different face paint so every time I change my face paint I have to pay for it no matter what no matter what if I want to put on phantom I want to put on exposed goal or if I want to go back to wicked as you can see there's gonna always be a fee that I will have to pay because Rockstar is greedy even though you already own them now something else since we're talking about owning these items to own everything all the Halloween face paints you need to buy them at least once it's very important to do that buy them because that's the only way you're gonna own them do not scroll through the face paints like this thinking that you're gonna keep them forever or be excited that you have them here they're only gonna be here for the Halloween festive update so whatever that two week, two week period is that Rockstar wants to keep the Halloween face paints in the game they're only gonna be there for that two week period of time so make sure you buy every last one or only the ones that you like because that's the only way you're gonna keep these items all year round I'm gonna say that again the only way you would keep Halloween items all year round if you buy every last one so whatever whatever the ones that you don't buy will be removed from the game that's how that works so like I said if you got the money to spend then blow it if not then buy the ones that you like because these items are very rare and they're mo the most anticipated festive update that everybody wants now when it comes to the Halloween mask a lot of people are always talking can you buy all the Halloween mask too honestly I would not even worry about the Halloween mask because if you got Halloween face paints why would you want to cover this up you get what I'm saying? 
there's no point in buying the Halloween mask unless you just like to collect them. Then yeah, but chances are you'll never wear them and it's gonna be a waste of money. With because it's a waste of money that you're gonna do and buy them and then you'll be like, oh crap, I should have saved my money because I don't even wear those and I could have bought more Halloween face paints. You get what I'm saying? That's what you should do. Buy the Halloween face paints because you will never wear a mask again. The only thing you'll probably walk around in is a bulletproof helmet and a speedo. I kid you not. So, yo, for all you guys that missed out last year and years before, this is your chance again this year to purchase these particular items. You know, you want to dress up and be Joker all year round, you'll have your option to do that with Sorrow Demon. The option will be there, guys. These are cool, rare face paints will make your, your character look unique different from everybody else that's running around with the whole H2O Delirious clown face paint on who wants to be H2O Delirious when you can look like freaking the Joker himself so you get what I'm saying I'm not <laughs> I'm just saying man so yo make sure you guys pick up these paints man um if there are any more questions that I miss be sure to leave them down in the comment section guys now I answer those questions to you I'm always there also, make sure you follow me on Twitter so you can get guaranteed notifications whenever I go live or upload a video. So, yo, this is Badger signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be breezy. I'm out.